Um, and of course, you could be involved. Use the hashtag Kings Live. Uh, what do new coaches bring to teams that are struggling? Now, we've seen it work in St. Louis, not necessarily work in, in Columbus. But obviously, the Kings needed some sort of change. You know what? Uh, it was an atmosphere issue they were looking for. And we talked about it with Kevin Westcott, that word believe, for whatever reason. You know, expectations went up. We've talked about it all year long. And with that, when it doesn't go your way all of a sudden, you start to get frustrated. That takes away from your ability to focus. And all of a sudden, you're a team, and, and I don't think they were trying to do things by themselves, but you could tell that guys were worried about their own game, and maybe that takes the focus off the team game. We heard one of those answers for Daryl Sutter, and it's, a, it's probably about a three-word answer. He said it's not about individuals, right. it's about the team. Yep. And that's what he's trying to get going right now. So it's different when Daryl comes in because it's middle of the season, and with the expectations, there's not a lot of time right now for the Kings. Yeah. There's not a lot of practice time, mm -hmm. so he can't put the system, and he can't do many changes there. Change the belief system. That's the biggest system right now. And we don't normally bring up standings this early, but the fact that the Kings, you know, kind of buried themselves in a deep hole, got to go, have to definitely look at the points. So now they go to Chicago, uh, then back-to-back -back Winnipeg. Uh, let's break down these two teams. Start with the Blackhawks. They're, they're just 